everybody welcome back to my channel it's your girl Noxy aka the girl on site you already know and um, yeah we are still under the home design and DIY segment it is part two of finding a planter for Nami my plant baby who has outgrown his current <laughs> planter so the first part we actually went and looked for a planter for Nami and now it's part two we are actually repotting him into that planter so I'm super excited for this episode and I hope that you can sit back relax and enjoy it with me so during part one we went hunting for a planter and I went with uh, the planter that I found from at home this gorgeous woven planter and I am so excited for it because I think I am perfectly on trend because they were woven like planters everywhere so this is the one that I went with and immediately after buying this one I went straight to Leroy Merlin for the inside of the potter Nami is going to sit in this and you know it's got a little bit of a tray as well so that every time I water the plant the water just gathers in here instead of into the basket I mean could you imagine so fun fact it was super convenient purchasing this from Leroy Merlin I used their scan to pay option which allows you to skip the queue and process your transaction yourself pay for your goods and leave the store safely and securely so that was super convenient you guys are going to try that next time but yeah so as you can see it fits perfectly inside the planter and we're now going to put Nami in here so let's go for it right so the first thing we're going to do is get Nami out of his current pot and not only does that involve you know simply getting him out of the the porcelain portion but also getting him out of this actual like plastic dish because we bought him a new one from Leroy Merlin so basically what we're going to do is and what I always do is I turn plant to the side careful with these leaves and what I do is just carefully carefully um, just roll it out and what that does is basically just loosen him out of the current pot and get him ready to slide out you know so just loosen that up loosen that up then I grab firmly at the base of the plant itself because you want to be careful you don't want to damage your plant and then Bob's your uncle there we go <laughs> goodness how's that Right, so as we can see, there's even um, some remnants from his previous size, as you can see here. And then this is when I repotted him after about a year of having him, and you can see the difference between the two. So what we want to do is just loosen all of that so that the roots feel free to kind of expand to all the dirt. Right, but anyways, let's just sort of shift that aside for now. And let's get the bigger version of this that I got from Leroy Merlin. As you can see, it is quite a big difference and that's exactly what we wanted. We really wanted to give Nami room to grow. So as you can see, here's his old pot. Here's the new one. Let's get him right in here. So the first thing we're gonna need is some potting soil. There we go. Some normal potting soil, right? And what we're gonna do is just literally pour that right into the bigger pot. You're gonna need a lot of this because, um, I mean, as you can see, going from this size to like almost three times as big, this is gonna be a lot of space. So we're basically gonna use the whole bag. So what I usually do is I don't completely fill the new pot, you know, I just leave a bit of room because we want it to be an organic um, space, you know, you don't want to like pack it up too hard. You want the roots to be able to find their way themselves. So as we can see, it's about halfway. I've dug a bit of a well in the center and what we're going to do is grab Nami, put them in and then what I want to do is now loosen, loosen the roots a little bit just so that they can now start to feel free to fill up the rest of the, the pot as they are. This is a lot of space. As you can see, all of this space right here is gonna get filled up with the soil and this is gonna allow Nami to have a lot of room to grow even bigger than he is right now. 
So what we're going to do now is just fill up all those gaps, all the pots and soil, and our job is almost done. Right guys, well there you have it. We are completely done with the repotting. And I mean, just look at the difference. Going from this to this, I mean, I think Nami is set for a very long time. This is gonna give him a lot of room to grow and that's exactly what I wanted. So all that's left now is for us to put this pot into the planter that we went and bought. And I'm just so happy with this planter. Um, I think it's on trend, if I do say so myself. You know, I was seeing woven stuff everywhere, so I trust I'm on point with this one. So let's let's go for it. Oh my word. Okay. Alrighty. And there we have it. Yay! What do you guys think? I mean, doesn't this just look awesome i mean it's the green leaves the woven vibe very natural you know boho chic and all of that and you know right now you can see the size that nami is i am waiting for him to get even bigger and completely overflow out of this pot i need some flowers nami come on bloom now so uh every now and then he gives a couple flowers and then you know just the whole cycle keeps going so yay guys that is my repotting part two of finding nami a new planter i hope you enjoyed it i definitely did so i think we can call it a day on this one guys like subscribe do all the things share the content of course the more the merrier and i look forward to seeing you guys soon soon bye